Today we're talking about equipment versus employees. Alright guys, you know the drill. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell to get notifications of everything, the new videos, the new information that is coming soon. So like I said, our topic today, and since this is like the first ever dry board video I've ever done, I didn't start a business because I could spell well, I didn't write, I didn't start a business because my penmanship was perfect, so bear with me, you know, make a little fun of me in the comments when I misspell something that is, is extremely simple, I'm a numbers guy, not a, not a spelling guy, never a spelling be one here, so that's my disclaimer, so guys, Equipment versus employees has become a really, really relevant topic in our company. And the reason I thought this would be such a big deal to bring up to, to everyone on the video and kind of go over this is, you know, as your company grows, as you do more in your company, you realize that there's so many moving pieces. It, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And as this goes on, you know, something we realized this year, and it's something that I see every year, you know, we had a really big bump in employees. So at one time, we had 17 guys in the field. And yeah, we were getting a lot done. Yeah, we were doing a ton. Uh, but I realized we got to the point where it was more just labor than anything. So, you know, out of these 17 guys, there may be, I don't know, seven that really, really knew what they were doing. They could utilize the other people. Maybe only five, you know, because a lot of these jobs are labor-intensive landscape projects. They take a lot of manpower to complete, so you need all this labor. But what had happened throughout the year is, you know, this kind of ebbed and flowed. Every year we hit this big peak where we're just blasting through so much work and we got to get so much work done. We got deadlines that we always hit this high number of guys out in the field. And then now we're at 12 guys in the field. So it's went up, it rocketed up, and then it kind of planed off, and we always plane off at the end of the year. We were, we were at our peak last year at 12. We were at our peak this year at 17. So that's the, that's the progression of the business, the progression of the workflow we've had. You know, this year the, the sales have been much more than we've ever had before. Um, things are continuing on, on a good incline in business. But so as this has happened, when, when you spike and you get into this employees versus equipment conversation, you know, I hear a lot of guys say, you know, buy equipment, you know, la da 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 try to replace all your employees. I'm not saying replace all your employees. You need rock star employees. But my topic is what I would rather take is, you know, a few valuable pieces of equipment and put some A players on it and try to take this big number right here, try to drive it down so. Because when you look at a lot of this equipment, and you know, I did a, a talk for lawn and landscape or something, I did like an interview on renting versus buying and this and that. And really what I'm looking at with equipment, more than the cost, more than anything, I'm, I, I look at everything long term. And what I'm looking at is each one of these guys, even if you pay them nothing, and I know some of you guys out there aren't paying, you know, you're paying really low, you know, not everybody's paying really high, we're not paying extremely high but our landscapers you know our, our foreman not even our foreman our crew members are probably making between 13 and 15 an hour you know and I would consider that you know for unskilled crew that that's pretty good in our industry so you times this and you push this out across the year and see how much it is to have two or three extra guys with with one of these awesome crew leaders it's way more than this equipment would ever be to pay the payment for or anything. So that's where this conversation goes, employees versus equipment. Where I'm wanting to go with this, what I'm wanting to lead you in as you grow a business. If you're watching this channel because you want to grow a large business, um, you're watching this biz this channel especially because you're getting into landscaping and you're wanting to really, really grow and, and scale that, it's very important to start looking at how this equipment can affect things. I used to be extremely scared of, we've got a cat skidster sitting back there. and 
it was a sixty thousand dollar purchase. And I used to be really, really scared of what that would be, what that would do to you know, how can I afford that and this and that. But then I started realizing, you know, my biggest expense is labor. So if I'm driving down, you know, with with a few pieces, I don't know, you know, cat skidster, a, a ditch witch, um, you know, like a mini skidster, um, a, a mini excavator soon. You know, if I'm driving down this number with these assets that are going to last me years, we're not going to have as many, you, you know, the, these don't care about the hours they work. They don't care about anything. They're there as long as they get treated well and they get maintained. They're going to be there to provide for the team. And this is also, say your number of, say you've got, like this number up here, you've got seven rock star crew leaders. This is also going to make them appreciate their job more, you know, rather than, killing them and just pushing them and pushing them out to to be doing all this work and be pushing all these guys to be doing all this grunt work and and you sometimes you got to do grunt work that it's what this industry's got there is grunt work that is involved but i'm really just trying to get you on the thought process of realizing you know i always used to be like well the guys can do it and i still have that sometimes that the guys can get it done we've got the manpower to do it but by starting to build these assets, build these pieces of equipment, you know, quality pieces of equipment that you're not gonna have to be working on. You know, I'm not saying, I used to always be buying junk because I could pay out right for it and then I was fixing it and I was spending as much to fix it as I spent on just making a payment on something. That's just, it's ludicrous. Well, what's the point? There's not enough time to own a business, have a family, have uh, a family of employees that you're taking care of have everything else that goes on in life try to have a hobby and enjoy something and then be trying to fix your broke down equipment all the time you know and you, we've even got to the point where we've got a mechanic that is not on staff but that comes in after hours and works on stuff to get away from constantly working on stuff because you can have new stuff and you're still gonna have things break down so the conversation really leads towards as you're growing your business start utilizing and start realizing that you know, there's a lot of labor intensive stuff that's going to go on and start thinking about how you can involve some of these pieces of equipment to drive down the manpower you need. Because what happened as we started focusing on how to be more efficient with machinery is when this number drove down, we were still able with the, the 12 to 13 men to have one of our best months in sales. You know, and, and that just goes to show that these big numbers of employees, you know, it's always crazy people ask like how many employees do you have how many accounts do you mow how how much how much in sales this year it's like it's all just big measuring sticks that because we're guys we like to talk about but it's totally irrelevant you know how efficient can your crew be so you can make like so you can increase yeah, let's not put plus let's put so you can increase the percent of actual profit that is net at the end of the year you know like that's that's what matters your efficiency that you can have because this number right here, these things can do as much with one skilled guy on this, it can do as much as three skilled people. So you can take one awesome guy, pay him more, all of a sudden he's a much better employee and now he's on a high efficiency piece of equipment and he is replacing some of the lower pay guys that don't really care about their job, that are just here collecting a paycheck that might not ever go anywhere for your company and now everything's better. So now you have, uh, a crew member or a crew no it's a, let's call it a, a foreman making better money so let's call him I don't know what you guys pay your foreman but let's call him a 19 to 25 an hour because now he's not using a field of labor he's using some awesome equipment maybe one or two guys to accomplish the same job And with that, now you've got a guy, and you need to keep building in more things. With our foreman and everybody that's here around, we're also contributing to uh, health insurance this year. Everybody's got a labor problem. We're talking about labor versus equipment. Getting rid of some of this overhead, uh, some of this cost, I guess direct cost of uh, having all this labor, and being able to pile it back into some of these awesome people. Now we're being able to get at least make a contribution to their health insurance, you know, and all of a sudden we package up this person that has so much more potential and not because he's just money driven, but because people need to live and survive. And this is allowing that to be a little easier for him. And now he can go out with all of this and this equipment 
and produce more with less people. It's better for your business, it's better for your people, and it's better for the whole all-around picture of the game that you're playing. And this is the way we're focusing our business. We are focusing the reason to go to GIE. The reason to go to GIE is not to Google over equipment and drool and just play with equipment. The, the reason to go to GIE is to take people that understand the equipment that can realize how to take that equipment and combine each other and become more efficient and drop labor costs. Because a high efficient person, if you teach them right and they understand, the more they can drop this labor cost, the more they can be efficient, the more money they can go in their pocket, they can go in the business pocket. It makes everything healthier. So that's the talk. I know I've been kind of just spewing my thought on this and, and, and throwing out my opinion of, of why this is so important and why to think like this. You know, I'm not saying, I hear a lot of guys say, get rid of all the employees, just have pieces of equipment, do jobs like that. I'm saying have the right mix. Don't be like me. Don't make the mistake I made. Don't try to beat a dead horse with employees and try to just throw more employees at it, throw more employees at it, throw more employees at it. Because I've done it for years, even though it has worked for us, it hasn't made us or turned us as much profit as it could have when we could have had higher end pieces of equipment, producing better, having these guys get paid better, compensated better, and be less fatigued, and overall create a business that everyone enjoys more. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. I hope this is cool. If you like this whiteboard video where I make some scribbles, I misspell something, you know, I, uh, I look goofy from time to time. Let me know in the comments below. Say that, hey, I really like the whiteboard. I want to see, you know, we just redid this office and uh, I'm really liking that, you know, I actually got some trim. I butchered this little nail right here. It's always ridiculous, you know, I just get going too fast. But if you like this, leave a comment below so you'd like some more whiteboard videos. I saw a comment, an awesome comment about someone talking about scaling their business outside of a outside of their area to a new business. Uh, I've got a, a couple friends that have done that. I've been involved in, in doing that and uh, it worked really, really well. So I'm gonna shoot a video like that for you in the future. Um, everybody, like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. I really enjoyed having you here today. If you hated this, leave that a thumbs down. Didn't, don't wanna leave you guys out, anyone that hates this stuff. Leave it a thumbs down. Everyone, I'll talk to you soon.